Knowing where to start with precision agriculture in vegetables can be daunting. As part of a Hort Innovation funded national project in precision agriculture, the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries has identified some initial steps for vegetable growers to get started with precision agriculture. All precision agriculture approaches are enabled by precise location data, so the starting point for any precision approach is always guidance. It provides the basis for geo-referencing. Without this, it's difficult to move to any precision farming approach. RTK tractor guidance systems also have the capability to log elevation data. This type of map can be used to model surface water flows and forms the basis for drainage modelling to inform levelling operations and drainage works. As this data can be captured with on-farm machinery, this requires minimal capital outlay, except for data processing and modelling. Crop variability can be assessed using crop sensing imagery without having to invest heavily in new technology. This can be easily trialled using one of the freely available platforms, which is generally low resolution, with higher resolution available at a cost. The intense nature of vegetable production means that high resolution data will be of most benefit. Drone imagery is another option for high resolution imagery. Similarly, there are a range of soil mapping technologies that can be used to understand soil variability. While the type of soil mapping used depends on the issue, or requires some soil sampling to ground truth the mapping data and relate to measured soil parameters. Once you've obtained the crop or soil imagery, the next steps are critical in understanding what the mapping data means in the field or crop. Any spatial data collected on the farm will need clearly identified field boundaries to assist with data collection and process. This can be easily done in Google Earth by creating what's known as a polygon around individual fields and labelling these with field IDs or by mapping field boundaries with tractor guidance. Tim Neal is a consultant who's been providing precision agriculture services for 20 years. If you want to look at getting into precision ag technologies, the thing is to really start with the problem that you're trying to solve. Too many times we jump into technology without looking at what, what are we actually doing it for and what's, what is the problem we're solving. And I guess in, in reality you've got to start with the basics anyway and getting good guidance systems on your tractors is absolutely number one. And I think particularly in horticulture where you are farming a lot of flat lands, using that data to actually determine where drainage should be, that's probably another really logical next step. If we look also at other technologies though, I would start looking at the soil types. So some simple zonal based soil testing of some, some information that you might have already have or grid based soil sampling is a really good starting point and very low cost in horticulture to do that. Another step above that is really about measuring the plant and I think measuring NDVI imagery from satellite is a really good choice. In horticulture however you really need the high resolution product. Um, so if you're going to collect imagery from satellite you, you really want to be in the sub one metre resolution type of category or using drones if you have access to those types of supplies. But it's all about measuring the plant and we're trying to reduce the variability that's in the crop. But you've got to understand what's driving this variability. There's no point just collecting data and not knowing what's causing that and you can't find a solution until you understand the problem. And that's why ground truthing is so important. So we don't see technology like this replacing agronomists or field staff or farmers or whatever. It's all about helping them do a better job quicker more targeted and trying to reduce variability in fields. In summary, key tips for getting started include understand why you want to implement precision agriculture, start small and pilot tools before expanding, research or seek advice prior to adopting new technology. Finally, understands that PA is for the longer term you won't be able to fix variability immediately as it's an ongoing management approach.